Greetings and indeed hearty, warm, deep salutations. My name is Neil Cross. This is Cross Examination on Tech 3D, where I investigate and critique other people's invented tutorials because you love them and I like doing them. I'm working on a big video right now. Hmm, it's going to be good. And in the meantime, I'm knocking another one of these out because uh, they're easier to do. So, uh, yeah, if you want to support the channel and see more content like this, keep they keep the gears turning, mate. Keep the wheels moving. Uh, hit the description down below. Check out my website if you're interested in buying an Autodesk license. Or if you've got one for renewal, you can use my referral link. And that'll help support the channel. There's donation support links on my website. Thanks in advance, mate. Appreciate it. Right, let's see what's going on. Tutorial scene. And uh, I haven't done this in a while. I've been out, the, I've been out the loop. I've been in Australia for a couple of weeks. Uh, out. I don't know why I do that, mate. It's not good for my ear holes. Right, let's see what's cracking on YouTube on the trending page. I used every messy card. Mate, good for you. I just had some Morrison's mango and passion fruit smoothie, but who the f wants to see it? Anyway, all right, let's look for some tutorials and see what's going on. Invent a tutorial. Uh, and for those who were complaining about the fact that I complained about watching someone's ad in the last video, I think the joke was lost on you. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to explain it. Uh <laughs> I do have YouTube Premium, but uh, yeah, I think it was lost on you. Never mind. I'm not going to explain it. Right, let's look for tutorials done this week and see what's cracking. Invent a tutorial from Small Smallsman. Five views. Potential diamond in the rough, maybe. One video. Is this worth it? I don't know. Let's just, <laughs> let's see. All right, he started. He could be at the start of his journey. Could be the start of something special. We'll give him a we'll give him a crack, mate. You found me on your fifth view. Sorry about that. This could be awkward. Uh, and clearly, no editing is going on. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see where this takes us. Uh, it could be good. Could be bad, right? Welcome to a video. Okay. Well, his audio is decent. That's good. Clear. Uh, resolution looks like 720. Yeah, 720. Uh, decent inventor resolution. There'll be enough real estate on screen. It's light modes. Inventor 2020. Didn't have dark And mode. in today's video, okay. no I'd like to discuss about inventor. Now, Inventor is a parametric modeling software. You can do a lot in Inventor. All right, beginner's tutorial. He's, I mean, did he even say what Inventor tutorial? This unlisted video. It's not, mate, I'm afraid. You've made this live uh, and you found me. So, uh, <laughs> whoops. Inventor, you All right, can build parts. Don't know what it is, but models. the fact that you're explaining what Inventor is, I'm assuming you're pitching this at absolute beginners. It's really hard to understand at first. But if you know the basics, you can handle all the extra stuff. No, that's so not true. Open no, that's, that's not true. You, no, you, you don't understand the rest of Inventor once you grasp the basics. That's not how any software sure. works. You are going to be up with this screen. It may look a little different depending on the year that you're using. That's right. So that's correct. A key things to notice is up here, you have your part section. Templates. Assembly section, drawing Templates. section, Templates. and your presentation section. These are all important sections that you will Templates. end up using one of okay. most of the times, depending on what you're doing. Over here, you have your project shortcuts and file details. Yeah, but what a project! I man. barely use these, but some some people they help Don't a care. lot. I, I, if you're gonna explain, if you're if you're explaining to the audience what you do and personally don't use, you have to kind of give some kind of context as to who you are, what you do, what your experience is, what your skill set is, or else I don't care what you do and don't use personally, right? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it means nothing uh, with respect, right? <laughs> some, some random stranger comes up to you and says, personally, I, I, I don't like those cars. You'd be like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't know you. Why do I care that you don't like those cars? At the me? bottom, you can see all the work and models that you have built in Inventor. So the four main categories that we have here, Templates. part, assembly, drawing, and Inventor, and presentation. You always are most likely going to start with the part. That's true. Now, Mostly. the part is if where you, start you end up model. making models of parts. So if I click on this, so it takes a while to load. So you only want to click once. Doesn't. Depending on how fast your Wi-Fi is. Oh, what? Oh, look. mate, mate, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh no, no, come on, mate, mate. How fast your Wi-Fi is? I think. I think we'll have to knock this one on the head. <laughs> we'll have to move on to something different. I think you possibly just exposed your skill levels there. Don't think you're ready for tutorials. Uh, 
Inventor's got no no references to Wi-Fi or network resources when you start a part file, especially when you're using the default template, which you are. Your workspace, the material library, appearance libraries, all those, uh, well, everything. It's it's on your C drive. It's in the public documents folder. There is no calls to the network resources when you start a new part file. So it's got nothing to do with your, with your Wi-Fi. What it probably has a lot to do with, and this is a, a, a wee bit embarrassing, is the fact that you're running your laptop on battery, not Parts. plugged in. So if, I if you look at you, this, look at the bottom left, mate. So it takes a while so, to load, so you only want to click once. Next to the depending clock. on how fast you're. Yeah, it's probably got a lot more to do with that than the fact that uh, <laughs> Wi-Fi. Ah, uh, well, we'll we'll knock that one on the head, right? Let's let's get rid of the filter and let's do this. Yeah, let's see what else is going. Oh, how to draw a loft feature? Three minutes for we can, three minutes forty eight. Now we can we can do that. Autodesk CAD tutorials. Nice webcam, mate. Loving that. It's got the green screen going on. He's got the old Autodesk logo, but you know he's probably not an Autodesk partner. We can forgive him for that. Clearly titled. Let's let's take a look at this. I'm liking this. Now that's a face of someone who's serious and means business, doesn't it? He he means business. Right? You you want to listen to him, and I do want to listen to him. Teach me, teach me, sir. All right, learn how to model a part using the loft command. This feature can form complex geometries, it, which is true. That's very good. In this tutorial, we'll draw a, ge a generic part by creating multiple planes, a sketch for each, and loft between these. Very well explained. Subscribe for more tutorials just like these. And timestamps. So, intermediate tutorial. So, I suspect he's not really going to explain. And I wouldn't expect him to explain the basics as he's going if it's intermediate. Like, what's a sketch? What's the line command? What's... What am I doing right? It's going to be pretty. In this tutorial, we will draw a basic part using the loft feature. Wow. Love the voice. Very clear mic. Good, just borderline clear enough resolution. I think you're sort of just on the on the borderline there of it being too small, but I think that's good enough size. Yeah, I think that's good enough. But, but very clear, very concise. There's a weird gradient going on, but I don't think anyone will care about that. Uh, a lot, I'm loving that camera setup at the bottom, though, mate. That is exceptional quality. Really good. I mean, this is this is a really good start, mate. Loving this. So we and the and the channel Autodesk CAD tutorials it doesn't get any more clearer than we'll that. We'll start it? by drawing in a number of planes, and then we will draw a sketch on each of those planes. And then we will loft between those sketches. So let's okay. select the let's plane. Do, oh, I like that. That was clever. So that that was a that was a, a PNG with a transparent background, and then when it started, it just moves then across. Then we'll loft between those sketches. So love that. That's nice. That's a nice touch. So he's gonna. I assume he's gonna have that there, just above the webcam, as like a visual reference for what what you're heading towards, which is what so many of the tutorials are missing, right? They're just aimlessly flapping about and pressing buttons and drawing lines to make random shapes and. They don't know really what they're doing. People following them don't know where they're going and where things are heading, but clear guidance. So there. let's select a plane. In this case, uh, let's select, let's do the XY plane. I'm just going to turn on the visibility. So right click visibility. Then let's go to three. Oh, I swear to God, I'm going to really clothesline these motorbikes outside the front of my house. <laughs> Driving this bad 3D shit. model and we go to plane. We'll offset a new plane from the XY plane. Let's do a distance here of 25 mil. Zoom out a little bit and let's do exactly the same from this plane, so 25 mil. And then just one more time from our new plane here, so 25 mil. Yeah, good, I, I like that. Yeah, the way I do it, which everyone's different, lots of different ways to skin a cat. Uh, this is just the way I was taught and I did it from the start. I mean, he's, he's using the dedicated button. You the way I do an offset plane, it, it's, it doesn't matter. Both ways are perfectly fine. But I, I, always, I always use the... I never use any of these buttons, ever. There's nothing wrong with using In fact, it's, I would probably teach people to use them, but I always use the plane button. So if, if I was to do an offset plane, I would click that Let's plane do button. Exactly. And then I would click the existing plane and then drag it off and then type in. I don't know why. That's just, that's just how I've always done it. But yeah, I mean, I think I, I started before Inventor had the dedicated buttons for each plane type but be the same from this plane so 25 mil and then just one more time from our new plane here so this is really pleasant to listen to i love his voice even if this is is like 
a, just a pointless tutorial. I'd, I'd like his voice. 25 mil. Let's input our last plane. So we got offset from plane and we choose the original here. So this is the default XY plane. And here we'll select minus 200 millimeters, and press enter. So here we have the five planes that we'll use uh, for our part in this tutorial. Let's start on the default plane, start a 2D sketch. And here we use the two point center rectangle from the origin and we'll input a square here, which will be 60 millimeters. Absolutely nothing wrong with this so far. So all the work planes are linked to each other. They're all offset from each other. They're all adaptive. So really good. And he's doing a proper square. So many tutorials I've seen so far when they're drawing squares, they're just drawing four lines. It's driving us bloody mad. Tab and enter 60 again. So. Again, it's constrained around the center point. It's all symmetrical, fully constrained. There we have our first sketch. Let's finish that sketch. And let's select this offset plane here. Create a 2D sketch. And here, using the in-context menus as well. So he's mixing it up a little bit, using different ways of accessing sketches and different features. Yeah, we'll input a circle, again, from the origin. We'll it's put good. in here 50 millimeters in diameter. Finish that sketch. And we'll start a new sketch on this plane. And he's, he's explaining everything that's happening, right? Finish sketch, start sketch, right? It, it can be a bit much in some instances if it's not done right, but... I think it's just the right level of explanation as he's going through this. And it, it helps that his voice is quite calming and soothing. Which will be again a circle, but in this case, it will be 85 millimeters. Finish that sketch. And then we'll just input the final sketch here, which will be at an offset of, uh, sorry, a pro projection of this circle here. So another 85 mil circle you could draw instead. So we will begin to loft between these four sketches here. I'm just going to turn off these, uh, the visibility. I mean, absolutely perfect. One thing that I would possibly have added in, I don't know, it, it depends how clever you wanted to be with it. But like the second, so you've got, you've got the 60 by 60 rectangle and you've got the, the, the 50 diameter circle. Uh, I'd have possibly have linked that diameter to the, the the length and width of the rectangle so maybe the diameter would have been sort of that par that parameter minus 10 and then this circle would have been that parameter plus 35 just so you can add, if you wanted to make this part i don't know if it's a, meant to be a, a chisel or something if you wanted to make it a bit bigger, you could just change one parameter and then the entire part would have increased in size, right? Instead of having to, it just adds that extra bit of intelligence to it, but it's intermediate rather. No, that's, I would say that is intermediate. That's not advanced stuff. Of each of these planes. I think he's aiming for quite a short tutorial. I would have added another couple of minutes into it. So I, I, I get why he wouldn't have done that. Okay, so we've got a 3D uh, model and we'll select the loft command. And here we will select our sketches that we want to loft between. So we'll select all of our sketches here. And then we'll select OK. As Simple. you can see here, we have the uh, nice. sort of handle um, element of our part. We just need to draw the final geometry on this plane here. So let's select this sketch, start a 2D sketch. I'm just going to rotate the view cube. Personally, not a fan of the use of the word draw in CAD. Is the, screen, is the window flickering black? I don't know if I've got a dodgy connection here. Never mind. Yeah, the, the use of the word draw, it, it's fine. Might just be me. I, I prefer to use sketch and, you know, drawing a part. It's, it's modeling a part. I, I like to say modeling a part and sketching. Drawing is, a, I, I don't, maybe it's just me. Like so. Here we'll draw right, in another right. two point center rectangle from the origin and we'll dimension this as 150 in length. Press tab, we'll enter in a height of five millimeters. Press enter. And all so we'll rotate the model there. And then we want our Excellent. final loft to be between this sketch and this face here. So we've got a 3D model, select the loft command. We'll select this sketch here. You have to be careful. And over here, we'll just one. select. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, if if I was making this tutorial, I'd probably make a point of saying to anyone trying to follow along, it's going to be really awkward picking that face because Inventor is an absolute, it's a twat for picking up loft faces. It tries to jump to things behind, it tries to pick an edge. It's, it's sometimes, it'll work, but it's, it's confusing the viewer. 
or the user when it's flickering around and picking different you don't know whether you should pick the edges should you pick the face should the face be green when you click it does it matter does it not matter so i would probably make a point of explaining that it usually doesn't matter as long as it picks the edges or uh, it sometimes can matter because it can it can it can often convert into a surface loft both profiles are edges but the end result is a solid then it's fine profile now we can see that's the uh, correct loft that we want that's okay i'm just going to hide that plane and then yeah there we have our part that's been uh created using the loft command good. I'm just going to Simple touch this up a little bit with the fillet tool. Good. I'm going to drag nice um, across these edges. That's really, really useful to know that. Not a lot of people know you can window drag and select fillets like that. The, the There's been more tutorials that I've watched where I've seen people just click, 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 click. And I've been like, mate, mate, use loop. Right, or use all fillets and all rounds. What what you do when you click on every edge on the part individually, right? But yeah, just window select them, man. That's really good advice. It's that. here. I'm gonna input a five mil fillet. It's okay. Go to the home view. And there we have our completed part. If you have any questions, yeah, I, I like finishing it off with applying materials. Right, I, I'd, have, I'd have put a material to it made in metal. It just it's just that. You, you always do that in production. It's always going to have a material assigned to it. So I, I always like to finish it off with that. But otherwise, absolutely superb that, mate. Well done. Love that. Uh, and good luck with your tutorial journey, mate. You know, you, I see you, you're trying to build an audience. You're trying to get people to follow, do the YouTube stuff. It's a, it's a, it's a tough gig, mate. It really is. But good luck with it. Let's see what else you've got. I'm very impressed with that 831 subs on the grind you're not quite over the 1000 bump yet uh you're on a fusion 360 as well <laughs> from 69 views mate that's 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 rough that is i would draw a spanner <laughs> i've seen before but i'm not a fan of the word draw but you know invented 2022 wall mounted hook yeah he's got quite a few stuff there quite a lot of stuff release cadence ain't Brilliant. Seven months ago, five, four, four, three, two, one. But what is there looks pretty high quality. So, yeah, that's awesome. Orders card tutorials. Go check them out. Get subbed to that. That's that was super. Pretty much tell this guy knows his stuff. And um, yeah, thumbs up for me on that one. So yeah, that was cross examination yet again. Uh, found a good one there. Orders card tutorials. Another one which hopefully the guy will be uh, releasing more stuff in the future, uh, propping up the tutorial scene. But thanks for watching. My name's been Neil Cross. It's been Cross Examination. I'll see you all in the next one. Doodles.